Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, you will learn how to insert text into slide objects. In PowerPoint, you can add text to slide placeholders, text boxes, or shapes. Many times, when creating presentation slides, you enter text into the text and title placeholders that are included as elements in the slide layout. However, you can also add additional text to text boxes or shapes that supplement or enhance the text placeholders in the slide. Placeholders, text boxes, and shapes that contain text have two distinct modes that they use. First, they are shapes, so they can be formatted, edited, and moved as shape objects. Second, they must also allow you to edit, add, remove, and format the text that they contain. In PowerPoint, this is accomplished by using two different modes for text containing objects. This way, you can apply changes to the object itself or to the selected text within the object. In PowerPoint, a text containing objects mode is shown by its border. A border composed of dashes means that the object is in text edit mode. When it is in this mode, you may select and change text inside the object. A solid line border indicates that the shape is in object mode. The object itself, including all text within it, is selected in this mode and can be modified in this mode. You should be aware of what mode an object is in before performing a task or applying formatting. You can click directly on the border of a shape to place it into object mode. You can place your mouse pointer over the text within the object and then click into the text to place the insertion point into the text and switch the object to text editing mode. You can then click and drag over the text to select it and perform editing and formatting tasks to the selected text. Now you will learn how to add text to placeholders, text boxes, and other shapes in presentation slides. Normally when you apply a slide layout, you can click into the text placeholders in the slide and enter text. The advantage to adding text to slide placeholders is that the text will then appear in outline view of your presentation. If using outline view is important to you, ensure that the text that you want to appear in the outline is entered into the slide placeholders. You will learn about using placeholders, slide layouts, and slide masters in a separate chapter. For now, you just need to understand this subtle difference between slide placeholders and other types of text containing shapes in your slide. If you don't care if the text that is added to a slide appears in the outline view, then you can insert it into a text box or shape in your slide. First though, you need to learn how to insert text boxes and shapes into your slide. To insert a text box, click the text box button that appears in the text button group on the insert tab in the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the slide where you want to insert the text box. It will insert in text edit mode, so you can immediately type your text. You must type some text immediately into the text box, because if you do not, and then click away from the text box to deselect it, PowerPoint will remove it from the slide. You can add text to a shape that you have drawn in a slide by clicking the shape to select it and then simply typing your text. To insert a shape into your slide, click the Shapes button that appears in the Illustrations button group on the Insert tab in the ribbon. Then click the shape that you want to add from the drop-down menu of choices. Then click and drag over the area in the slide where you want to place the shape. It will insert itself when you release your mouse button. It will already appear selected in the slide when it is inserted, so at that point simply type the text that you want to add to the selected shape. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.